my channel and welcome to another vlog I know it's been a while but we are back this vlog is gonna be a great one we are headed on our first cruise we are going on an eight-day cruise we're going to Aruba Bon Air and Carousel I'm so excited and um, yeah me and my husband this is our first time we're on a cruise I'm scared I'll be honest I went and got my hair braided and the girl who was doing my uh, braids or the owner of the um, salon, she was playing the Titanic. And so I was like, of all movies, of all movies. <laughs> so, so yeah, but anyway, I should be fine. We should be fine. I have C bands. I have, um, what are they called? motion sickness patches to go behind my ear so I should be good hopefully I'm only nervous because I get motion sickness in the car on the ground on land however it's gonna be all right it's gonna be okay so yes we're going to those three islands and um, yeah have fun with us should be fun Now you see that little 
Wow. Oh my goodness, that our water's here. Shut up. Ooh. Oh my goodness. room is amazing it is a state room with the balcony i am so happy look at him got her feet up this is so relaxing see our feet <laughs> what you got to say bless you so relaxing this is so great I'm tired and I'm gonna sleep and rest on this vacation. Eight days. I don't know why he acting like like he acting like he's just so mild mannered and quiet and don't say nothing. The Lord is speaking, so I'm out listening. You know. Hey, bye. Good morning, everybody. It is a new day. It is Sunday, July 16th. And we are getting ready to go eat. I'm sitting on the balcony. Listen to the waves. My husband's getting dressed. And yeah. Today we are we're doing the roller coaster. I'm afraid. My husband is excited. And I am scared out of my mind. But I told him I would do it. And I don't want to, but I'm gonna do it. It shouldn't be that bad though because the roller coaster on a boat rather than on land is definitely different. So, um, it's just the fact that it's kind of like on a boat and on water that's really getting me. And I'm already definitely afraid of roller coasters. So, that's today at 4, I believe, 4 o'clock. But right now, we're going to go eat, possibly shop. Because I need to find something for an elegant night tonight. I don't know why I didn't have, I have an elegant outfit for the all white elegant night. But tonight is the first elegant night. And I forgot to pack something for that. I have an outfit, but the way I packed was I got an outfit for each day. So if I wear that outfit, I may possibly not have an outfit for another day. So, I need to find something else. I mean, I can make something work, but I would like to find something else. So, yeah. See y'all in a second. <laughs>
I've gotten some good much needed sleep. The nap I just woke up from was amazing. Ms. Yell is back out on the deck balcony. My mom just left our room. She was out on the deck and she took a nap. That's a good thing about this. These cruises, boats, ships. They have so many areas for you to take a nap, to rest, and just relax. Tonight we are going to the Hibachi restaurant. It's kind of like a Kobe steakhouse on a boat or on a ship. And um, that's at 7:15. We was gonna go to the Elegant night for the dinner or the for the. The dinner for the elegant night but we're gonna do that instead so I don't necessarily have to change my outfit but I still might just cuz it's a restaurant so um, yeah that's tonight I'm probably gonna go find some y'all they have the best ice cream on this ship it's like a soft serve frozen yogurt type ice cream oh. and it's available all day long oh it's so good i'm gonna go find some of that and then just wait until dinner tonight so see you then hello everybody i'm on the balcony again we are about to head to dinner to the hibachi restaurant the outfit shoes i'm not used to this off the shoulder situation but we're on vacation and it's appropriate so waiting on my mom to come so we can go and we will be headed that way Monday. These days are really just kind of um, <clears throat> uh, running together. Uh, we did not do the roller coaster yesterday because it's been very, very windy. This boat has been swaying because of the wind. 
so much. Yesterday it was like 38 miles per hour. Today it's 50 something miles per hour for the wind. And so I'm sure we won't be able to do the uh, roller coaster today um, or any of the excursions on the ship for that matter, um, just because it would be unsafe, of course. So those excursions are not available to us right now. Um, so today is just another fun day at sea until we arrive in Aruba tomorrow. Um, husband is outside on the balcony. And um, yeah, it's coming in. He's not feeling well. <laughs> So we're about to leave the hotel room and possibly go get food and see what else there is to do. Yeah, see y'all later. Oh, I forgot to mention last night, um, we went to the 80s glow party on the main deck. It was pretty cool. They had music playing, 80s music, of course, playing. And um, it was pretty cool before I left. Um, some people was like, some of these people on this cruise are very rude. People of other colors. Um, so where I was sitting, I had an extra space um, next to me because my husband, he went back to the room earlier than I did because he was tired so I had space next to me so a group of people just kind of come sitting or standing on the little banister thing right in front of me and so my mom and my god sister was like excuse me excuse us we're sitting right here like and they didn't budge they didn't move we were very rude and very just ignorant about moving acting like they didn't hear us or see us telling them to move and so yeah it was kind of crazy but we had fun here he is <laughs> so yeah that was last night um and then, like I said, today we, I don't know what we're going to do today. Probably just chill in the pool and um, find food. Hopefully, my husband feels better. Grace and peace. <sighs> okay, bye, y'all. Is it good? Shut chicken. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I forget the date. But we have finally made it to Aruba. Aruba. Last night was so rough. Oh my God. I felt so sick. I had a headache. I was nauseous. This ship was really moving. The wind was so strong. And we was just and you felt it all. That's the first time I felt like that. But we made it to our first destination, Aruba. I don't know if you can see down there. Where is it? Everybody's getting off the boat in that area. We're about to go meet my mom and my aunt to get off the boat and enjoy Aruba. He's being a being a creep. Listen. Are you excited? Glad to be in service one more time. Are you happy to be in Aruba? Glad to be in service one more time. You didn't have to let us live. I'm glad you're in Aruba one more time. All right. Let's have fun in Aruba.
Cordini. Hours later, the tour is complete. It was great. It was a great tour. I didn't get all of it because I don't want to spoil it, but it was a great tour. Now we're headed to get back on the ship. I am deep. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Today was great. Finally back in the room. Um, just needed a moment to like decompress from all of the activities we took part in in Aruba it was great I don't care what none of y'all say I've been to Aruba I don't care if it's by way of a cruise ship I've been to Aruba I stamped my passport I did it because I spent a day in Aruba and we don't leave until I think about 9 10 o'clock p.m tonight so we got out around like 9 30 ish and we're just now getting back to the room and it's like after five o'clock or almost five o'clock so i spent the day in aruba 
Don't tell me that, oh, you didn't actually experience Aruba, blah, blah, blah. No, I spent the day in Aruba. And we just may go back. Probably won't, but still. We went to Aruba. Tomorrow, we will be going to Bonaire. I'm excited. <clears throat> and then the next day, we will be going to Curacao. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Y'all, being on a cruise ship for like three days straight, three and a half days, two and a half days straight is not a joke. Last night really did me in. I was nauseous. I had a headache. I felt terrible, especially because how windy it was. When it's really windy outside, the boat really rocks back and forth and you feel everything. And for those of you who are easily sick from like motion sickness, like me, yeah, you'll feel it all. So now I'm probably about to go meet my husband at the burger place because it closes at six o'clock. And um, yeah, I just needed a moment to just breathe. He was hungry. I wasn't hungry at the moment, but I think I'm kind of hungry now. So I'm probably going to go meet him there. No, I, I am. So. Yeah, I just wanted to um, catch y'all up to speed. I haven't really been talking as much in my vlogs outside of at the morning or in the morning. So <clears throat> just wanted to kind of speed y'all up. Uh, I didn't really want to like record, you know, what was going on yesterday just because we really went, we really was not doing much yesterday. Yesterday was really a chill, laid back day. Um, everybody seemed really tired just because, you know, just tired of being on the boat, ready to do something different, ready to get out on land because everybody was feeling pretty sick yesterday. So, yeah, um, that's that. I'll probably come back later tonight or tomorrow. I, like I said, we're going to Bon Air tomorrow. So another day, another adventure. All right. See y'all then. Everybody, we are in Bon Air. Next destination. We're about to go down to get breakfast, and then we will be in Bon Air to see what the festivities are like. My husband is in here. Or wait, Alpha check. Husband's in here. He's waiting on me. There he is. Bless you. <laughs> so we're about to leave out the room and go get a little breakfast and then we will be in the Bonaire streets. Catch you later.
the stops are the pink water where it's a production for 15 minutes so you walk around we're going to stop in the little hut here for some history you're going to see some flamingos not too close but you will see them in the north side fire station that we have on the island this this one is the big one they are responsible for the city and also for the airport so they also have the yellow press standards and also the red trucks that go for the city on your left i hope you can imagine what we have there lovely beach so a lot of people come here in the weekends we barbecue with the family hang around swimming dance to it we have donkey beach also it's a really famous beach a lot of people come here to see it. the land of the place so they stand just right here these rocks used to be on the water back in time so this used to be our coastline so the island keep growing it's a close line so it, you can see it now and then they build the road but these rocks used to be our coastline it was on the water can you go all the way down no i'm not going he didn't want to come down we just completed our tour and now we're headed back to the ship for a minute Be glad and can't hear you, sorry. That's the day we know has made. <laughs> the tour was, it was okay. It wasn't as good as the tour from yesterday in Aruba. But it was good nonetheless. So now, like I said, we're going back to the ship to refresh. Refresh ourselves what we'll do next see you then and we're leaving Bonaire Thursday. We are in Curacao. This is our last destination for the cruise before we head back to Miami. We'll be back in Miami Sunday morning. This cruise has been amazing, amazing, amazing. Of course, I'm ready and dressed waiting on my husband. He's not proper right now, so I can't show you him, but <clears throat> we're excited, ready to see what the day brings us. 
Ready to see what the day will bring us. Carousel is very beautiful so far and hot. Yesterday we were in Bone Air. I was calling it Bon Air, but it's Bone Air. And um, it was nice. I kind of wish we went to Aruba last rather than coming to Carousel. I mean, not that I really even know what Carousel is like, but so far Aruba's been my favorite place of all three. But we will make that judgment later tonight. Uh, so, yeah. We're about to go down for breakfast to eat a little something before I hit the streets of Curaçao. I don't know if we're doing a tour today, but um, we will see what the day will bring. And of course, I will bring you all along. We don't have a lot of time here. I think we leave at 4.30 today rather than leaving at like 9, 10 p.m. So, headed back to the ship. Got a lot of nice pictures and things. And I'm sure a whole lot of tan because it's hot. But it's a nice breeze. So, now we're headed back to our room to possibly change it to some bathing suits and get into some water.
Friday. We are close to the end of our cruise. <clears throat> it's been great. It's been amazing. Um, especially for our first cruise, it's been very great. Uh, I will say though, if this, if I could give advice to someone who is possibly going on their first cruise, do not do an eight day cruise. Eight day cruise is a lot. My husband and I did an eight day cruise for our first cruise and it was a lot pretty much because we were on the boat Saturday evening until Tuesday morning. And now we'll be on the boat or we are on the boat, have been on the boat since yesterday evening and we'll be on until yesterday as in Thursday evening. And we'll be on the boat until Sunday morning. That's a long time to be on a boat. And um, especially if you deal with, like I said, <clears throat> Motion sickness, all that kind of stuff. You really feel it the most when you're laying down. Like, you feel the motion the most when you're laying down. And so, I've dealt with feeling nauseous, having a headache, and just feeling, ugh, the worst when I'm laying down. I'm laying down right now, but it's fine. I'm okay right now. I have my patches usually just have on one but I have on two today because or two now because I don't have time to be sick I don't but yeah today we have our cocktail party my godfather he's a travel agent so his um travel agent club is giving us a complimentary gift I don't know what the gift is and he's also doing a cocktail hour at two o'clock and we're wearing all white so we're doing that today. Um, my husband is out on the balcony. And um, yeah, m not much is happening today. Of course, the majority or the more, more important days are now past us. We went to Aruba, Bonaire, and Carousel. I really wish we did Aruba for the last day to kind of end it with, you know, a bang, but it's cool. I thoroughly enjoyed this cruise. I have a tan. Um, I've enjoyed my husband. We've done a lot of sleeping, a lot of resting as we have needed so much of. And I'm glad that I still will have a week, a full week before I actually go back to work. To actually rest, recuperate, get myself together and just prepare for the next school year. And, um, yeah, classes start back for me soon. So, yep, it's been a great vacation. We have done a lot of travel. This is the last trip of the summer. Well, I think it's the last trip of the summer. There is another trip that we possibly, possibly will be going on, but I don't know yet. But, yeah, I'll let you guys see the rest of the day if we do anything fun all right we are ready for the all white cocktail hour yes all white oh you need to see all that let's go <laughs> to mention or show you guys our cocktail hour for the all white all we did was go to one of the little lounge areas take pictures in our all white so forgot to show you all that but i'm headed to the main deck which is the lido deck on the 16th floor where my mom is and then from there we're gonna go to a party not a party but like a show or something like that just walked up the stairs sorry so yeah and it's currently like 10 21 p.m so 
yeah, that's that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The booze in store for you tonight. Evolution features our fantastic DJ. Live singers, dancers, musicians, and the incredible energy of your funk squad. Now this is the only ship that hosts this party. So we gotta make this the best night of the cruise yet. Now our party is only as good as the people that attend. So celebration, are you ready for evolution? Yeah! In that case, put one hand in the air. to go find some food. Had a late start this morning. And then we're gonna go get in the pool. Haven't gotten in the pool like that all week. So we're gonna swim today. I'm not going all the way under, but yeah. So we're out at the sea. We'll go home tomorrow, or at least back to, my, to Miami. It's been a long eight days. I'm ready to go home. I have to admit it, I am, but not to reality. I'm ready to just be on land. That's about it. But yeah, we're gonna go get some food, catch up with my mom and my aunt, and see what everyone else is doing. And I don't know, today's just gonna be a chill day. So. See another boat. I'll just see something else on the sea. I feel so lonely. Just look at all this. I mean, just water, 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 water. It's beautiful, though. Yep. Hi. I have eaten so much on this daggone cruise. It don't make no sense. I'm eating a burger. Eating my last burger. To go. These burgers have been so good. Um, my husband's still in the room. He didn't want a burger. He said he was tired of the burgers. I wanted to get one more burger, so I'm eating it. I'm gonna do some ice cream. I think I hear the roller coaster going. Um, we were supposed to do that this week, but never got a chance to do it, especially since our um, reservation was canceled because it was too windy but yeah you know after a while I'll put it this way my honest 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 uh, I don't want to call it critique but my honest review of this cruise has been is been very long and eight day cruise an eight day cruise for my first cruise probably was too much for me just because it's like you spend so many days on the boat getting to the destinations and then so many days getting back to Miami. It's a lot. And so today I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very like ready to get off, <laughs> ready for the trip to be over with. So if we do a cruise again, it may just be like a four day, five days, something like that because eight days is a long time. But I have enjoyed myself outside of that. 
I've enjoyed every part of this cruise. So. I'm gonna finish my burger. I'll talk to y'all soon. Hi, we're in the jacuzzi. <laughs> I don't know what my husband's about to do, but. <laughs> she fell. There's no one in here. So we're enjoying the jacuzzi before we get off. I'm waiting on my aunt to meet us in. everybody it's Sunday morning we're back in Miami our cruise has come to an end It's like seven in the morning and we're waiting for the debarkation process. <sighs> it's good to be back home, I will say. Well, in the States, we're not necessarily home yet, but we're back in Miami with service, internet service, cellular service. It's been great to detach from life, reality, to have a vacation, to just relax. I took so many naps. I rested so much. Thankfully, I have a whole nother week until I actually go back to work. So I get a little more time to kind of relax and reset and gather myself, regroup, all that great stuff. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed all of this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the world through my lens and being on vacation with me. I hope that you, if you've not gone on a cruise, that you definitely take some time to plan and prepare to go on one. I think that everyone should go on a cruise at some point in their life. Um, yeah. Travel, travel, travel. I just encourage you to travel, 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 see the world and take advantage of the opportunities that you are given to travel. Go anywhere you've never been. That's all I say. I'm eager to go anywhere I've never been. And so I do that. We've actually been traveling almost what seems like two months now. We've been traveling since June, the end of June. And so this is our last trip for the summer, I think. So, yep, hope you guys again have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and share. Subscribe. There will be more videos to come. I love y'all. Until next time.